How's it hanging, fellas? Sam Otosh, and this is another episode of Sackboy A Big Adventure. And in today's episode, we are going to do these two levels. Look at that funny hole in the middle. Looks so stupid. Let's start with the long one. You can tell it's a slightly longer level because it's got like five different orbs you gotta pick up. Maybe, actually, I never measured the length of how long it takes to beat these levels. I just always assumed that the one with five dreamer orbs is the longer one. Nice. Can I just... Oh, I can, okay. I was worried I wouldn't be able to stop on these obstacles. I bet they'll fucking pull something bullshit off later. Or I'll actually not be able to pull this off. The scan is now complete. I forgot about Naomi. I'm not a stack boy, I'm a Lombax. I'm an alien species, I should be... I should be welcomed here. Oh fuck. I wasn't expecting a 2D cut out of a robot policeman to fucking try to kill me. Uh, expected, unexpected. And Little Big Planet 1, it was very cute because all the 2D cutouts, that's just kind of what the game had for NPCs. Just a bunch of characters made out of fucking cardboard that couldn't really talk, so they had to communicate their speech bubbles. And it was charming, you know? You Like, you were the only actually animated character in that fucking game. Also, I, for fuck's sake, I remember something about Little Big Planet 1. No one ever seems to bring that up. Like, in some kind of what-the-fuck moments in kids' video games or anything like that. Sometimes you see lists of, like, unexpected moments or whatever the fuck. And no one ever brought this up that in Little Big Planet 1 there's a segment of the story where you have to find... Like, I think it's like a... I don't know, a prairie dog or something like that. Some kind of, like, small animal mom. And she's saying that, oh, her little child went missing. And can you help me find it? And then where you fucking find it is in a fucking strip club. Just fucking chilling watching a dance. And no one ever seems to bring that up and it's like, did I fucking make that up? Am I stupid or something? Am I so delusional I'm making shit up? Like, I gotta replay Little Planet 1, man. And if I really fucking wanted to, I guess I could have fucking replayed the game. I guess I could replay it by actually installing it on my PS3 again. But the thing about it is... I don't particularly feel like it. I'm gonna get back to the beginning of this fucking thing. Wouldn't, don't you think these ears would kinda not really help me with rolling around at the speed of sound? I have places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. When the fuck is Sonic 3 coming out? Borderlands movie is coming out next week, looking forward to that one. There's been some teases about the Mortal Kombat 2 movie, which the first one... It's a movie that did some things right, but most of the time it didn't. Some of the characters were, well, were very cool, like Kano. Being a pretty big part of the movie was really awesome. But then, like, instead of just having Johnny Cage be the fish out of water funny man, you have some fucking new character that's not, who's not even funny. Like, instead of Cole Young learning how to be a badass, you could just simply tell a Johnny Cage story about, you know, be, him being an actor, an action star, who's not really an actual fighter. But then, you know, he goes to the Mortal Kombat tournament, learns some power within him, learns how to properly fight. And, yeah, it would have been better than fucking Cole Young. I actually thought when that movie came out that are they like setting up Cole Young to be some big new fucking Mortal Kombat character? Like we're gonna oh I fucking missed something over there. How was I supposed to pick that up? I can't go back anymore, can I? Oh I can. Is it here perhaps? How do you want me to get up there? No, I let, he lets go of it. I don't fucking know. Maybe I gotta go higher here? 
Oh, look at that. Ain't I smart? Smartest motherfucker. At the very least in my room. Because there's no one else in my room. I already missed some shit. Ah, oh, whatever. Who cares? To tell you about my work today, I didn't really do much. Just delivered some documents. We did some ex exercise in the morning, and to be honest, that was pretty much it. Ain't no more fucking things that we done. There's gotta be something hidden down there, right? Yep, some points. Totally worth it. Wasting the timer on my multiplier for that shit. I was talking about Ratchet and Clank games a lot. I don't really have much else to say about them. Uh, like if the, if a new one comes out and it's a sequel to, you know... Um, oh, come on. I wasn't expecting them to do that. And it's a sequel to Rift Apart. Wait, was that what it was fucking called? I think so. Or am I making up video games again? Rift Apart. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. Well, I'm probably gonna want to play it, because I really like... Ah, oh, shit, I swear to god I missed an item because of that. That's so fucking bullshit, why is Ratchet white? What's wrong with him? He's got a fever or something? Oh, whoops. Worst nightmare, I almost got squashed. Imagine getting squashed, that must be like the most terrifying death. You're like fully aware that you're being fucking crushed by, I don't know, a, like a room closing in on you. But you can't really do shit about it. Like the worst fucking... Kind of like one of my big fears. So I kind of doubt that I'll ever have to actually deal with it. Wait, what? I'm supposed to get this across, right? Well, that ain't gonna help. I had a puzzle like that as a kid where you had to slide a bunch of bullshit and then you had like a Marlboro logo. Yeah, like a, like a cigarette brand logo. A materialize. Appear. I never fucking learned how to solve this. Had it. All my childhood. Never fucking figured out how to do it. Neither have I ever tried to figure out how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I remember my first experience with a Rubik's Cube and it was at my, like, mom's friend's house. Why is this not moving? It just creeps me out that it's gonna move at some inappropriate moment. And she got a Rubik's Cube and I was like, what the fuck is this toy? It's weird. Of course, I never solved it, but a friend of mine is actually pretty good with Rubik's Cubes. Can solve them no problem. I don't think. What's this kill? Well, you could do me a solid and kill these other guys. Not just me, at least. Ah, oh shit. At least be fucking. Oh my fucking god, what am I doing? Well, that was a fuck up. I dodged that like twice and then I just eventually walked into it. Well, it had to happen, I guess. Okay, now it's not... Good. Ratchet looks like Rivet now. She's a white bitch. Fucking am I stupid? Yes. I am. I got a drink, by the way. It's a f another Fanta. This one's peach flavored. I think I maybe had it before. I like it. I kind of took it from my sister, that's why it was already open, but... I, I guess she doesn't like it, so she was just kind of gave it to me, and I was like, alright. I don't get anything to drink for the episode, so that's nice. Part of the reason why I'm always picking up these random drinks to talk about in my episode is... Uh, first of all, to kind of have a topic to talk about. Second of all, just because I'm curious about various drink flavors. Third of all, to keep my throat from going sore. Nothing worse than that when you're running a fucking Let's Play channel. 
And then you have a problem fucking speaking? Oh, that's just awful. Dope. I meant to change my emotes, get the dab one. Shit, I should remember that. I should do it, like, next chance I get. Oh, come on, I would've fucking gotten that if I didn't fucking face land myself into that stupid laser twice in a row. Man, this game is kind of fucking, like, imagine being a kid and trying to get that fucking gold rank. That'd be difficult, I'd fucking get myself killed everywhere I could possibly get myself killed. And I was freaking up doing pretty decent, look at that shit, I barely fucking got anything. You know, at least I didn't got the orbs in the other order, where I only got the second and the fourth one. That'd be even less orbs. I got the challenge and shit. Gonna pick up money, do one more level. I'm gonna change the Clank, because Clank looks much cooler than Ratchet. At least the skin. Man, this would have been useful in this fucking world map, especially because this one's kind of longer than the other ones. The rolling ability? Like, I should be able to roll in the overworld, why not? So yeah, it's pretty good. Peach flavored, nice. Yeah, I, I guess no stories to tell from work, I just kind of fucking played LEGO Star Wars a bunch, uh, beaten the first chapter. No big deal, because I actually have uh, some footage of the complete saga just sitting on my computer. Did I fucking miss the, the fucking cube in this level? That's why it's floating up here? I did. I, that's, I can't fucking do that. Have I done that before? Oh my fucking good lord. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Good thing I fucking noticed. And I'm like fucking retarded. Yeah, for real. I gotta fucking after this episode. Okay, maybe not after this one, but like in like three episodes. Because I'm I mean to record three episodes today. Cause I ain't really got got anything going tomorrow, so I can just kinda sit here and record videos. So I'm gonna record three this time. Catch catch up a little bit with my let's plays, because I was honestly running low on new episodes. Like, I'm running low on the Yakuza episode, so next week I'm gonna be doing Yakuza. Yakuza 5, that is, of course. We're gonna be doing a bunch of hunting in Saijima's chapter. I fuck. Try to get that thing. And how am I meant to get any of this? Bullshit, can that fucking thing please come back? Take it. And this game doesn't feature stickers, how can that be? It's like almost like not a little bit planet game. That's, that's insanely lame, I'll be honest with you. No stickers? I'll be honest with you, I probably wouldn't. I'm, I'm very honest with you, like always. I probably wouldn't be really sticking them on stuff very often. But I'd still like to have them. At the very least, stickers allowed for a lot of customization when it came to... Uh, customizing characters. In the previous games, when you customize characters, you couldn't just pick the color of your outfit like you do in this game. Instead, you pretty much had to take a sticker and then place it on yourself. That's how you could possibly, you know, have like a haircut with a different color than it was intended to have. Hold on a minute, what is this? Oh, am I, am I like guiding it? Oh, I am. I thought I had to get inside myself and kill this fucking thing. I love the stepping on ice sound effect, it's cute. What the fuck is that thing inside anyway? Some undescribed stupid ass looking piece of shit like pretty much everything in this game so far. Alright, enjoy the hole that you get stuck in for the rest of your life. 
have fun in there. I couldn't give a fuck less. I just got the thing I wanted. It was disposal disposable to me. Sackboy is kind of a fucked up savage. Oh, it's a fucking cute little creature, like it's nothing. Oh, fuck off. Mr. Dreamer Orb, like, screw you. How the fuck am I supposed to foresee what's coming up ahead? I can't. It's like way too much. Oh, come on, you could have started me at the fucking top of that thing. See, like, now I know that there's a... Oh, fuck off. Like, if I jump it... Can you fuck right off? Oh, what the f actual fuck? You spit me into the obstacle. And this game sucks ass. Fuck you. What is this bullshit? Things spit into obstacles. It's not even my fault. It's everybody else's fault. It's the fault because I didn't grab this. But the game was like, nah, you're gonna die and have to redo this shit, bitch. For the game would have said if it could talk. Oh, all these bubbles were stuck in there. Oh, and I missed like a skin for your character. Oh, that sucks. Got some extra bubbles. See, this level was a lot shorter. It was all about sliding down the thing. What's inside these bubbles, anyway? It's like a scrap of paper? Cool, can I pose with a bubble before it pops? Man, these bubbles have like a very precise hitbox. I'm just gonna let this bubble stay here. It's my new friend. The fuck, did I just get a drill? Look, it's a bubble next to me. That's not on the picture. Like, oh, I guess it didn't really count it to my score. I picked it up after I finished the episode. I mean, the level. I got a gold. Gotta pick up money again. So next week is gonna be Borderlands, and you know what? I I gotten fucking stuck on Parapon Free again. That game is so insanely fucking difficult. I swear to God, am I like supposed to what? Like, am I doing something wrong? Like, I know this game has a lot of like multiplayer shit. Like, the game was kind of had a lot of focus on playing with other people. So could it be that because I'm playing on an emulator and have no access to playing with other people? I mean, I guess I could. But, like, I don't know how to do that. And I don't really care to play with other people. Like, I just want to play this as a fucking single player game. But towards the end, the final dungeon, even though at this point, I, I feel like my fucking characters are pretty powerful. I got like as good equipment as I could possibly fucking find without cheating. A little bit of exploiting, but that's not cheating. That's exploiting. It's a different fucking thing. And it's like, now I'm... The final dungeon, I didn't even got through half of the first floor and I got immediately obliterated because there's a bunch of swinging bullshit in this dungeon that swings every 10 seconds and if you get fucking hit by these giant guillotines, you just get fucking obliterated immediately. Like no fucking, like it's not on your side, there's no like a thing you can do to avoid the damage. I guess you could like, you know, run away from it, try to dodge it, but like they're so fucking wide. It's like impossible to dodge, you can jump above them, but they have such a wide fucking arc. It's insane, I don't fucking know, I've been replaying previous levels to try and hopefully get some still better stuff. Because there's like some items my Patapons are carrying that are a little bit outdated, like some shield here and there, that kinda sucks. But fucking hell, I can't really get any fucking better equipment than I already have. And I can't really unlock any new skills or any new classes that just fucking fuck shit up or something like that. So, man, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit fucking annoyed by this fucking game. If I'm being honest with you, see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.